Hey everyone, Claire Cook with Crumb Fun here, and in today's video, I thought that I would share with you how I get my beans ready for my French press coffee, how I make my French press coffee, and how I prepare a cup of it when it's ready. So the first thing you got to do is grind your beans. I have a ninja, you know, with the blender thing. So I take the single cup serve, and that's what I pour my beans into to grind them. I do not have a coffee maker. Um, coffee grinder. This is the last of my beans too. I'm going to do it in two batches. So I just put a little bit in there. This is just how I do it. It's probably about almost a half a cup. Now when you grind up your coffee beans, you want them to be a coarse ground. Now, you don't want the fine ground coffee that you would put in a normal coffee pot. Like a normal pot of coffee would be the, the, the ground, the fine, like salt, right? Regular table salt. You know how salt also comes in a coarse grind, a coarse, um, Salt also comes in at coarse ground. That's kind of like how you're going to want your coffee. You're going to want big chunks of it. You know you have your big chunks of salt if you were to buy a coarse ground. So that's exactly how the coffee is going to be. I just store mine in a glass jar. I don't know if you can see at all how it's broken down, but it's also not finely ground. It doesn't look like sugar, it doesn't look like the regular ground coffee you would buy at the grocery store. Can you see that? Alright, so now I'm going to do this. Now see that made a lot, didn't it? That little bit made a lot. Favoritest coffee beans to use are the ones from Sprouts in their bulk department, but they're ten dollars a pound, so I have to always wait till they're on sale. I'm going to get close as I pour it so that maybe you can see the chunks of the coarse groundness of it. Do you see that? How it's not finely ground? Just think of it. You don't want it fine like salt. You want it chunks. Right? So now that that's done, your next step is to get your French press. This is my French press that I have, and I've had this probably for 10 years. And it, it this is the plunger part, the filter, All right? So you're going to take your coffee, however much you want. Everybody likes their coffee lighter or darker, okay? So this is, if you're first, if you're first going to be trying French press, what you're going to be doing is trying more or less. I never measure, I just go eyeball, but for you I'm going to measure today because I think how much I put in and I'm going to see if that's really what it is. I thought I always put a half a cup or um, a quarter of a cup in, but that's not very much, so that's not what I put in. Now, there you, you, go, you can go search YouTube and they'll tell you how much you need per ounces of water and stuff. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Okay, I put about a half a cup in mine. All right? That fills the bottom just right. So, Claire uses a half a cup of coffee. Coffee beans in her French press. Now, what I found to make an enjoyable cup of French press coffee is the next step. I went on YouTube and I found some videos of people making 
French press so that, you know, because you never know if there's special ways you got to follow. Now, you do have to have the coarse coffee. If you don't have the coarse ground coffee, you could use that, but it's going to get really stuck inside your filter and inside of, you know, in between it and everything. It's going to be, you know, it's not going to be terribly hard to wash. It's just going to be a mess, right? And it'll probably end up getting through there and getting in your cup of coffee. So you want your water just off the boil. Like if your water started boiling, that's when you turn your kettle off. Because what we use is this electric kettle that we got at this really awesome store that sells damaged boxes of things that Costco sells or returned items. Like if the box has a dent in it, but it's the thing is still good or the box was opened and they just have to retape it. So they buy all the stuff extra from Costco's in the area and then they sell it for cheaper. And that's how we got this. This is a $20 kettle that we got for $12 and there was nothing wrong with it except that it, the box was open and it was a little dented. Look at that. So that's what I use. We use this and um, you can just use your little, you, you know, your tea kettle on your stove. No problem. So you're going to put just a little bit in to cover the beans at first. All right. And you're going to let this steep for 30 seconds. This is the key here. Swish it around so that all the beans are wet. All right. Now, can you see that color in there? Those are all the natural oils that are coming out of the coffee. And that's, that's flavor and goodness right there. You're going to let that come out. And it's like awakening the beans. All right. Now, coffee, this is a steeping process that you're just going to do like your, like your cup of tea. You don't just pour water, put your tea bag, and drink it, do you? you got to let the tea bag steep inside the hot water. That's the same thing that you're going to do with this cup of coffee. With this French press, you're going to let it sit for about 30 seconds after you've poured just a little bit in. And it's not much. You can see how it's probably about 2 inches high of water. All right? So that's probably about, about 30 seconds, roughly. And then you're going to fill it up the rest of the way because you're just awakening the coffee. All right, and now is where you wait for four minutes. You're going to put your stopper in, your plunger. And don't push down yet because all the coffee is in there. Now you're going to let this sit for four minutes. So my next step is to put my teaspoon of collagen, so I'm going to take my teaspoon and put it in the bottom of my cup. Collagen is a protein. It is not a substitute for protein for your coffee. You cannot have a cup of coffee, Trim Health Mamas, with protein in it is not a meal. You need a complete meal, trust me. All right, so I'm going to then put sweetener in this and my half and half. Now, if you read the back of the container, two tablespoons is a serving of half and half, and it's only three grams of fat. So technically, you can have this with your e-meals if your e-meals is like oatmeal and doesn't have any fat in it. People are always concerned about my coffee with my e-meals. How much fat do you have in that? But I don't even put two tablespoons in. I roughly put in one maybe, not even that. So I'm not even getting the full fat, just so you know. All right, so I'm going to take my milk frother and I have a rechargeable one that I am just so I just love it not having to have the batteries but that's just the one I use you could do this um, in a canning jar and put the milk and all that together and, and warm it up in the microwave and then shake it till it like it would whipping cream you know and shake it till it gets thick but this is the way I do it I first I give it a little mix because now it sat here because I was talking and it got a little thick now you cannot taste your collagen. When you put your collagen in your foods and your drinks, you cannot taste it. It is tasteless, all right? You can put it in a cup of water and it would dissolve up. There we go. So now I'm gonna whisk this up. And hopefully it will work today to make it nice and frothy so that you can see. Now I have been having trouble with this milk frother 
my kids found it and played with it, so I think it's a little broken. So my husband has tried to put tape in different areas to hold it together. But right now it's doing a weird thing, so watch it not work real good. So it's not supposed to be moving like this. So I have a feeling it's not going to froth the way I want it to. I didn't do this yesterday. Which is kind of disappointing because I really wanted to show you how to do it. See how the milk's getting frothy? There we go. Now it's back to the way it should be. That's the way it's supposed to sound. Now it's getting nice and thick and frothy. And the collagen and the half and half together just make it so incredibly thick and frothy. I just wanted you to be able to see that. See how it breaks? That's what happens. It's because of my kids. But I think it's done anyway. You can see how nice and thick that is, right? This is a trick that I learned from a lady that I follow on Instagram. She is on Trim Healthy Mama and she's a vegetarian. Her name is Eat Veggie Low Carb, I believe is what it is. And she posted one day of doing this to her coffee. So then I got up and tried it and I was just like, my world was changed. It really was because look at this frothiness, right? So I make it in my mug. She makes it in another mug and then pours it on top of her coffee. But the way that I make my coffee. So if you're watching, thank you. So now I have my froth and I have my coffee. So I'm going to slowly pour it right in the center of my froth until it gets to the top of my coffee cup. And then there it is. See how now I have nice and frothy coffee. See how that's just my basic way of doing it. You do the way that works out best for you. You can also do it this with your regular coffee maker coffee and um, just pour it, use the, sorry. You can also do this in a regular coffee pot. If you're not using the French press, you make your coffee like you normally would and then make the froth in another cup and pour it on top, right? So there you have it. There is my frothy coffee. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that I explained it well enough in this video. As I edit, I will listen to myself talk. If I don't think I did a well enough job, I will come back and do it again another day. So I hope this helps you enjoy a better cup of coffee and understand the French press better. This is really great for camping, um, for, for campers, if you don't want that extra bulk of a coffee maker, if you're going camping or if you got like an RV or something, right? Or even if you have um, not a whole lot of counter space, perhaps, this is a, a great way to have a cup of coffee. Right? Yeah, I put it in the, micro in the not the microwave. I put it in the dishwasher and the color came off. So I, I learned my lesson. Yeah, that's why that happened. And red being my favorite color, my husband bought me a red one. He surprised that with me one day about 10 years ago. So that's the, how I make my cup of coffee. I hope you enjoyed watching this today. I hope that it was helpful to you. And uh, give me a thumbs up. And I will see you next time with another video about Trim Healthy Mama Homeschool or Big Family Life. So until then, be a blessing.